Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are gonna be doing some major pest preventative care. Yeah, that sounds right. We're gonna be spraying down all of my plants, at least all of the plants in my bedroom, which there's a lot. I don't even wanna think about how many plants are in here right now, cause it's like, honestly probably just too many. Um, but anyway, we're gonna be spraying all of the plants in this bedroom at least down for pests today. <sighs> And I think I'm going to be doing a lot of um, either voiceover or just like a lot of music, maybe a little mix of both for this video because I've had some kids like literally right outside of my window um, yelling about their lemonade stand for like the first, at least the last like 30 minutes. So, um, but this needs to get done today. So we're doing it. We're going to be spraying down all of the plants in here for pests and I'm going to be using two different products. So let me actually go grab those for you so that we can see what they are. I do want to try to keep track of which plants I'm spraying with which pest spray, but let me go grab them first. Their lemonade is a dollar in case you're wondering. <laughs> All right, so these are the two pest sprays that I have. Um, the first here, I've already used a little bit and it's a much smaller bottle. <laughs> yeah, um, so this guy is just 16 ounces, 16 fluid ounces. Um, it is the Bonide Captain Jack's Insecticidal Super Soak. Um, super soap, excuse me. Then we're also gonna be using this here. This is the Garden Safe Fungicide 3. So it says it is three garden products in one. So we're gonna be using this on most of the plants, I think, today. This is an entire 32 ounce bottle, so this one's gonna go much further. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get this stuff done. It need has needed to be done pretty much since I got here, and I've just been putting it off and just doing like little bits here and there, but today we're doing everything. And I came kind of, wow. I also came kind of prepared today. So um, I grabbed every single extra um, like nursery pot hanger that I have. Um, and I also grabbed my extra um, like shower curtain rod, if you know what I'm saying. That way I can have a ton more plants hung up in the bathroom so I can just like spray all of the plants that are hanging. Everything will drip onto the plants that I have sitting in the bathtub and then it'll all just drain out and not be an extra mess. But um, yeah, I feel like that's gonna work out really nicely. So let's just start grabbing some plants and putting them in the bathroom. Their little like voices or throats have gotta hurt from screaming out lemonade every second. How are they not getting hoarse yet? Ah, to be young and loud. <laughs> Oh, I should mention too, I don't have any um, experience other than using this just a couple times on, or just once, honestly, just on a couple plants. Um, but other than that, I don't have any experience with these sprays yet. So I'm excited to see how they do. Um, but definitely let me know if you have experience using either of these um, and how they worked for getting rid of all, your, all of your pest problems. And if these didn't work, definitely let me know. Um, and also, of course, if you have a better solution, um, my biggest issue is, oh gosh, what is it? I guess spider mites and thrips. Um, so if you have any good solutions, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say because I will try anything. I'm so sick of these pests. I know it's inevitable. I know I'm never gonna like fully get rid of the issue, but it's gotta be, there, there's gotta be a solution to just like really, really minimize, you know what I mean? So I just feel like I haven't found the right concoction quite yet. And I know that it's also mostly a me problem because I am not super, um, what is the word, consistent with my spraying. So I need to get better about that as well. Um, but yeah, okay, let's just start gathering some plants. We will get some hooks on them and then we will hang them up in the bathroom and get our first round going. I have a feeling it's gonna be at least three rounds of spraying. Um, but I did notice that with this soap, that when I use this, it dried really, really quickly. So hopefully this will be kind of similar. It does feel a little bit more liquidy. Um, this feels just a little thicker, you know what I'm saying? It feels most, more soapy. Um, so we'll see if this dries quicker um, or what the deal is. 
I'm going to start with the plants that are already on hangers. Okay, so here you can see the silver one was already hanging there and then I added the secondary hook. And I'm just going to start hanging them up. I watered this on top of the billy, that's why it was <laughs> sitting there, it's not usually there. Some more Hoya. Or is this so cute? Look at that. A hanging alocasia fried egg? What? <gasps> I freaking love that. She's so bouncy. Hi, buddy. I suck.
All right, let's see. It's been a minute. It's been about an hour. So, it is pretty dry. Most of the stuff looks like it's pretty dry. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling out and putting back all of the plants that are like 90% dry. And that way, everything else that still needs to dry out a little bit, like I have a feeling some of these guys are gonna need to dry a little bit longer, but that way they can spread out a little bit more to air out. Um, but I think most of the stuff will be good to put back. And then we will be doing round two, which is really not much. So we just have um, these guys up here, um, the guys on top of the cabinet and inside the cabinet. And um, these just random little cuttings here, my big Billy and this guy here. I am gonna spray this Gloriosum down. I just realized um, I pulled it out. I was gonna film um, part of it for a video and I realized in pulling it out that I had it just way too close, getting too much, um, close, too close to the window, getting way too much light. Every single leaf is so bleached and just looks terrible. So I'm gonna spray it down, um, but I will be chopping this up to propagate um, pretty soon. So yeah, but we will still break, spray them down today. Um, and then I also have these little guys down here to spray. But yeah, that's it. That'll be our round two. So round two should not take long at all. I do think for the second round, I will be using the bone-eyed um, insecticidal super soap. So we'll, we'll give that a shot for everything else here. I actually don't think I'm gonna spray down I shouldn't be talking with my AC on, but it's too hot. I don't think I'm gonna spray down this um, Politiflorum just because this leaf is still hardening off and I don't want to uh, mess with it too much. But look at this big guy. I am gonna spray down this Anthurium just because I feel like that guy, that leaf is like still new, but it's pretty hardy, so I think it'll be okay. This, it smells so bad. <laughs> Whoa, I did use probably more than half of this, spraying down all these plants. So the next time I use this will be to do a round two for all of these. Um, so yeah, but that'll be in like a week. I got a little carried away. <laughs> so I went ahead and filled up a bunch of plants. Um, this is pretty much everything that is in my cabinet, on top of the cabinet, um, everything that's on that small shelf that is above my bed. Um, I have my billetier in here. Um, the only other large plant that I don't have in here is my, um, jungle boogie so I'm gonna spray that last and then just put that in here and shut the door um, and I think that'll be good um, and I think I'll probably as I'm spraying probably put more plants like down in the tub that way I don't have to squish stuff as much right here to get that jungle boogie in here but um, I just want to show you some of the little pretties that are coming out here I've got a new variegated monster Adansonii leaf coming in this leaf 
did not come in well at all. But we'll just, you know, we'll enjoy this old uh, pink princess leaf here. And we've got this little guy here. This is my um, Anthurium Luxuriance Radicans cross. And is that a thrip right there? It is, little fucker. So we're gonna kill him and um, all of his friends. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna spray everything down in here really good. Look at the back of this leaf. That's so pretty. What if I put my flash on? Ooh. Feels weird getting glamour shots on the toilet, so let's let's not do that anymore. Okay, I'm gonna spray everything down. Okay, this is what we're using for this room, or for this round. The soapy stuff feels like it's gonna be more effective. I don't know why. It's just because it's got that that soapy feel to it. It feels more like clingy and like it'll kill more. Everything is dry. It is like 8.20, 8.30, so I'm just gonna quickly put everything back and I'll show you kind of how I've situated everything just a little bit. I'm not gonna go too in depth because this video is gonna be long enough as is, but um, yeah, we're just gonna kind of put everything back, make the bedroom nice and cozy, and then we're just gonna get set up to relax. So let's do it.
Okay. Things are mostly dry in here. Yeah, definitely dry enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys back in their homes. All right, you guys, that is it. We sprayed every single plant in my bedroom and I counted, there are a lot. Um, I would say, not I would say, there are um, a little over 80 plants, just like standalone plants. And then if we wanna get into like counting all of the seedlings that we did, the propagations that are in like the bed of moss, then we are pushing 300 plants. So. We got a lot done today and well, we pushed it into the next day. It's the next day. So we got a lot done over these last couple days of spraying all of my plants. I feel really, really good about it. Um, I did run through both bottles. Yeah, there's like barely any left in each bottle. So um, I will have to re-up um, like within the week. Um, that way next week within seven days, I will spray again within seven days. That is my goal. I can't forget. Then I will keep the plants pests at bay, ideally. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this long video. I'm sure it's going to be quite long. And um, definitely let me know if you want to see it. Well, don't even let me know because I'm going to do it anyway. So just stay tuned for a video just kind of walking you through how I've set up the plants in my room because I am working with a really, really small, tight space. And I've somehow managed to fit a lot of plants in here and I don't think it feels too terribly crowded. It is crowded, like it just is, but it's not like overwhelmingly so, so at least not for me. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to show you that. I think I'm going to film that for you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully weather cooperates with us. It is just drizzling rain right now. It's very, very dark and gray outside. Um, although I will say it does sound quite nice with the window open. So yeah, hopefully weather um, brightens up a little bit for us tomorrow morning and I will be filming a whole tour of the plants in here. And I'm just really excited. I'm excited to show you guys. I've just been really kind of re-falling in love with talking about my plants and they really have been such a source of like me time and my plant therapy. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me and I will see you in the next video.